All right, what's up guys? We're here and uh, we're gonna get ready for a posada. This is a very traditional thing we do here in December. Um, and uh, it represents a, a, a story from the Bible. I'm just gonna record it, I'm gonna vlog it. And I'll see you guys there. So this, this is the beginning of the posada. Uh, we gather at the starting house and uh, this is a biblical, biblical story where Joseph and Maria tried to find uh, refuge in random people's homes and this is a reenaction of that night or that event and as such uh, we gather in kind of a parade form um, a parade form and we, we walk down the street let's be there let's be there Anyways, um, so to follow up with this uh, cultural tradition here, we um, we walk down as a group down the road, and and we end up going to people's houses um, that participate, and we sing songs, traditional religious songs. stops at um, various houses and they reenact this uh, religious play. And this play was when uh, Mary and Maria, Mary and Jesus, uh, Mary and uh, Joseph were trying to find a place to stay when Mary was pregnant with, uh, with Jesus Christ. Anyways, this is how it looks like. And so this is house number two. They had just been rejected from house number two and Mary and Joseph continue and try to get refuge in house number three. This is house number three. mimic the people living in house number three they just open a door and they kind of scoot themselves in, uh, on the other side of the fence and um, and act as the people living in that house in reality they don't really live in the house they just reenact this process of um, Mary and Joseph asking for refuge and them denying the refuge and this acceptance and denying of refuge is represented through the songs that we sing. Here, Mary and Joseph had just gotten rejected again, and they are walking towards their fourth 
house. Here, this is the last quote unquote house where they will ask for refuge. And in the last house, they get accepted and they find refuge. And this is where the celebratory songs begin. And here is a reenactment of the birth of Jesus. And overall, this is a family event. This is uh, an event where family members get together and, and perform this act. And in the end, it's kind of like a bonding experience as well. Afterwards, a few events follow, such as... Food. Food. Um, everyone that participates gets to um, eat food and drink ponche. Ponche translates to punch. <laughs> Hawaiian punch. No, actually, this is a. Uh, kind of like a hot beverage uh, kind of like a tea and here we have tostadas um, tostadas with frijoles um, and yeah this is what this is what we eat afterwards and uh, afterwards there are a series of piñatas uh, for the kids and family members to enjoy Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so we got like five more piñatas to go. So that was something uh, very traditional here in uh, Mexico. Um, they had uh, piñatas. Uh, they're giving out candy right now called aguinaldos. And um, yeah, let's let's continue. All right, guys, and that's it for this video. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys got a deeper insight and perspective into the Mexican culture. Um, again, this is. The town of Tangancicuaro, Michoacan. This is where 
my mom was born and raised and um see you guys in the next one all right so i'm here with my cousin say what's up what's up he's actually you? uh he speaks english here but he lives here in Tangatiguaro. His name's Misael, <laughs> he's a little shy, yeah. but he knows all about my uh, YouTube business here. So, pretty interesting. Hey, it's a video.